Good afternoon, and welcome to the Church of St. Ignatius Loyola. We ask that you please take a moment to make sure your electronic devices have been silenced, and we invite you to stand for our celebrant, Father Hilbert. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. In the waters of baptism, Sandro died with Christ and rose with him to new life. May he now share with him eternal glory. Please join in our processional hymn, O God, our help in ages past number 689. Good afternoon, and again, welcome to the Church of St. Ignatius Loyola. We gather in prayer, we gather in sorrow, we gather in celebration. We gather to surround Fiamma and Julia and Gloria with our love, with our affection, with our prayers. Please be seated. And I invite Fiamma to come forward to say a word of welcome. Sandro, 
Julia and I want to thank you for loving us as you were able to do, for being the beam of light, the example of what it means to make it fully on this earth as a human being. Thank you, my love, for your courage, your passion, your loyalty, your thirst for life and for knowledge. You kept saying, I'm nobody, non so nessuno, aware as you were of our human limits. You've been living with compassion, open heart, open mind, committed to your family, friends, artists, ready to share and embrace the light of whomever got the gift to be on your path. You understood that the seriousness of this journey on the earth, but also the lightness of it, because it can't be lived without humor and joy as you did. You've been living with courage, thankful for every moment, no matter what, able to see always the sunny side of the street. You are our sunny side of the street. Now you are with us in a different way, but please, please keep walking on, your, on our side. I want to thank you, God, for embracing him in your light. He was already light on this earth. Thank you, family, friends, for being in our lives and for being part of his legacy. Thank you all. Let us pray. O oh God, whose nature is always to forgive and show mercy, we humbly implore you for our servant Alessandro, whom you have called to journey to you. And since he hoped and believed in you, grant that he may be led to your true homeland to delight in its everlasting joys. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever, amen. Please be seated. And I invite Filippo and Carolina to come forward for the readings. dal Libro della Sapienza. Le anime dei giusti sono nelle mani di Dio, nessun tormento li toccherà. Agli occhi degli stolti parve che morissero. La loro fine fu ritenuta una sciagura, la loro partenza da noi una rovina, ma essi sono nella pace. Anche se agli occhi degli uomini subiscono castighi, la loro speranza resta piena di immortalità. In cambio di una breve pena riceveranno grandi benefici, perché Dio li ha provati e li ha trovati degni di sé. Li ha assaggiati come oro nel crogiolo e li ha graditi come l'offerta di un olocausto. Nel giorno del loro giudizio risplenderanno, come scintille nella stoppia correranno qua e là. Coloro che confidano in Lui comprenderanno la verità. I fedeli nell'amore rimarranno presso di Lui, perché grazia e misericordia sono per i Suoi eletti. The word of the, lo the, word of the Lord. Thanks to the my 
shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. Fresh and green are the pastures where he gives me repose. Near restful waters he leads me to revive my drooping spirit. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. He leads me along the right path. He is true to his name. If I should walk in the valley of darkness, no evil would I fear. You are there with your crook and your staff. With these you give me comfort. prepared a banquet for me in the sight of my foes. My head you have anointed with oil, my cup is overflowing. Surely goodness and kindness shall follow me all the days of my life. In the Lord's own house shall I dwell, forever and ever. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, we know that the one who raised the Lord Jesus will raise us also with Jesus and will bring us with you into his presence. Yes, everything is for your sake, so that grace, as it extends to more and more people, may increase thanksgiving to the glory of God, so we do not lose heart. Even though our outer nature is wasting away, our inner nature is being renewed day by day. For this slight momentary affliction is preparing us for an eternal weight of glory beyond all measure, because we look not at what can be seen, but at what cannot be seen. For what can be seen is temporary, but what cannot be seen is eternal. For we know that if the earthly tent we live in is destroyed, we have a building from God, a house not made with hands, eternal in the heavens, the word of the Lord. Thanks to be God. Please stand for the gospel. Alleluia.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, o Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not let your hearts be troubled. You have faith in God. Have faith also in me. In my Father's house there are many dwelling places. If there were not, would I have told you that I'm going to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back again and take you to myself, so that where I am, you also may be. Where I am going, you know the way. Thomas said to him, Master, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Dear Fiamma, Giulia, Gloria, cari amici dall'Italia che sono in comunione spirituale con noi attraverso il live streaming. This was why we had the first reading from the Book of Wisdom in Italian, because many are joining us from Italy via live stream, and I presume from many other places as well. Dear colleagues, dear friends, and who wasn't Sandro's friend. Things have gone very quickly this week. Last Tuesday, Sandro went back to God, his soul finally at peace. This has been a difficult, blessed time, a time to be together. And I am grateful that during these days, I could be there with you, Fiamma and Giulia, and here you express grief at the loss of your husband and step. And also to rejoice in your memories of him with you throughout your lives. He adored you both. He cherished his family, his work colleagues, his friends. From Naples to New York, Sandro traveled the world in style and with a brilliant and curious mind. And I saw and heard how much he was loved and admired by all. Your presence here today is an expression of that love and admiration. A line from King Lear comes to mind. The weight of this sad time we must obey. Speak what we feel, not what we ought to say. We are here to accompany Sandro Manso on his final journey with prayer. And we can say to Sandro and to one another and to God, thank you. I need you. I'm sorry. I love you. Sandro was born in late winter and died on the first day of summer. 81 years of vitality and culture and joyful dedication to everything he did. And in the last months, Sandro's aging spirit and weak body was at peace, soothed by sensitive and competent care and the laughter of family and friends, and the comfort of his deep faith in God's love for him. The demand at the end of his life, as Fiamma told us, was for courage, acquiescence, acceptance, some coming to terms with. These months have been a time of remembering, gathering up and sorting out as he went out for his walks, 
discriminating between the abiding and the evanescent, a time of passage from knowledge to wisdom, a movement of his spirit from an anxious hanging on to a graceful letting be. St. Peter Canisius, German Jesuit saint and doctor of the church, at the end of his life said, I am not eager, bold, or strong. All that has passed. I am ready not to do at last, at last. And so Fiamma and Julia chose the readings from scripture to console and strengthen us on this bright June afternoon. I should also mention that today the Catholic Church celebrates the solemn feast of Saints Peter and Paul, the pillars of our faith, both of whom gave their lives for Christ and both of whom died in Rome as martyrs. You know it is a national holiday in Italy today, the patron saints of Rome. And I find this wonderfully appropriate since Fiamma wanted this mass to be full of joy and thanksgiving. Buona festa, buona solennità ai nostri amici italiani per la festa dei Santi Pietro e Paolo. We heard from the Book of Wisdom, the souls of the just are in the hands of God. The souls of the faithful are not departed from God who took them to himself. Faithful here does not mean perfect, but a trusting in the mercy of God who calls us for our trust. Life can be seen as a kind of purification, purgation, like gold purified in the furnace. God does not test our faith by making us suffer, oh no. God invites us to trust the experiences of humanity, of human frailty and limitations. As the Book of Wisdom says, grace and mercy are with his holy ones. And the cause of our celebration, the cause of our rejoicing through our tears is that God has reconciled us to himself through the sacrifice of Christ, to the death and resurrection of the Lord. If we have died with Christ, we will live with Christ, says St. Paul in that second reading. Christ died for us and death no longer has power over him. And this hope, this certainty will not leave us disappointed. We live in hope, we live in joy, we live in trust. Jesus said to Sandro all through his life, as he said to his disciples, if you want to follow me, you must serve. You must open yourself up like a seed that falls into the ground in order to bear much fruit. And how much fruit Sandro produced in his life. And at the end of his life, Jesus said, I am coming, I am going to prepare a place for you, and then I shall come back and take you with me, so that where I am, you also may be. When I think of Sandro, I think of the famous Roman playwright, Terence, who famously said, I am a man, and nothing human is alien to me. Sandro was dedicated, thoughtful, opinionated, romantic, generous, vital. He was faithful to what he was taught at home and at school, good manners and good values, good appreciation of history and literature and poetry and art and food. Perhaps a bit old school, he was the consummate gentleman, as well as the original free spirit. 
Once he was invited to stay at the Yale Club here in New York. He loved the, the location and the ambiance, but he was flustered when they told him that he couldn't wear jeans and he had to wear a tie. Didn't know what to do. I'm reminded of the famous Princetonian Albert Einstein, who went once also to the Yale Club and was told that he had to wear a tie. So dutifully, he put on a tie and then he removed his shoes and socks. <laughs> Sandro inspired you by his generosity and integrity. He mentored you. He gathered you together in laughter and sheer celebration of life. And Sandro was faithful to the Christ who walked him home. And gratitude was the moving center of his being. St. Ignatius Loyola said that gratitude is the greatest virtue. And he said more, gratitude is the source of all virtue. Today for us, gratitude is the memory of the heart. Be mindful, be grateful, be positive, be true, be kind. Sandro, with Fiamma each day started with a positive thought and a grateful heart. Sandro took up his cross, and so must we. The burden of our life, take it up in the sense of touch it and taste it and listen to it. Look at yourself and smell the smell of your humanity, your mortality and rejoice at this unrepeatable gift. Rejoice. Rejoice in our Christian conviction that at this moment, your husband and step, your friend and colleague, is more thrillingly alive than he has ever been. And the prize of victory is waiting for him. Sandro is alive. That, my friends, I believe with all my heart. I pray that you do too. And I can imagine last Tuesday when Sandro went back to the Lord. I think he said to the Lord, you know, I think I know you from somewhere. And I'm sure Jesus said to Sandro, and Sandro, my son, I know you. Welcome home. Please stand for the intentions, for the prayers, and I invite Julia and Gloria to come forward. In confidence, we turn to our Father, the Father of grace, the Father of thanksgiving, Father of mercy, and we offer our prayers. The response to each petition is, Lord, hear our prayer. Perché Sandro riposi in pace, nella luce e nell'amore di Dio, con i suoi amati genitori, Marcella e Luigi, e la sua adorata sorella Marina, e con loro benedica tutti noi. Noi ti preghiamo. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. May we, en may we endeavor to live as Sandro lived, with boundless energy, insatiable curiosity, arms outstretched and welcoming, capacious generosity, infectious humor, ceaseless positivity, the greatest passion, and a deep, sweet, pure love for his friends and family. We pray to, we the, pray Lord. to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayer. prayer. Signore, ti ringraziamo per averci dato Sandro. È stato per noi tutti un grande amico e un fratello, umano, generoso, altruista, compassionevole, un maestro di dignità nel dolore, perché Sandro possa essere sempre nel tuo infinito amore 
e godere della tua gioia immensa, noi ti preghiamo. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the doctors, nurses, and medical staff who cared for Sandro over the years, that the Lord will protect them and continue to give them strength in the remarkable service they do to humanity. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Per Sandro, perché la sua gioia, il suo entusiasmo e il suo amore per gli altri continuino ad alimentare il suo ricordo della nostra quotidianità. Per questo noi ti preghiamo. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. Per Zio Sandro, che ci ha insegnato il coraggio di uscire dal sentiero battuto, per inventarci una vita in cui essere davvero liberi, per questo ti ringraziamo. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For my beloved step, may you be enveloped in pure love from all of us still on this earth, from God and everyone above. May we carry on your immense legacy and love of life, your lightness of being, your compassion for all humans, your contagious humor, and the belief that life, regardless of its, of its challenges, is the most beautiful gift. We, we pray, pray to, to the Lord. The Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Finally, in silence, let us offer the prayers we hold in our hearts for Sandro and all those we love. For, for all, all of, of our intentions, intentions we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. Lord Jesus, you bless those who mourn and are in pain. Bless Sandro's family and friends who gather around him today. We pray through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. And I invite Lorenzo and Francesca to come forward with the gifts for the offertory.
please stand. Pray, dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at my hands for the praise and glory of God's name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. As we humbly present to you these sacrificial offerings, O Lord, for the salvation of your servant, Sandro, we beseech your mercy that he who did not doubt your son to be a loving savior may find in him a merciful judge who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In him, the hope of blessed resurrection has dawned, that those saddened by the certainty of dying might be consoled by the promise of immortality to come. Indeed, for your faithful Lord, life is changed, not ended. And when this earthly dwelling turns to dust, an eternal dwelling is made ready for them in heaven. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Please kneel or be seated. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. the mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. 
Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Timothy, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Sandro, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that he, who was united with your son in a death like his, may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember all of our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Ignatius Loyola, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to inherit eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Please stand. It is our mothers and fathers who teach us to pray. And now we turn with confidence and pray in whatever language you pray in, in qualsiasi lingua, per coloro che non conoscono la lingua degli angeli, possono dirlo in inglese. For those of you who don't know, the language of angels. Some of us will pray it in Italian and some in English or whatever language you pray in. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Agnus Dei, qui tollis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, qui tollis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, qui tollis peccata mundi, Dona nobis pace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. 
Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. For communion, I will distribute communion here at the center aisle. Please come forward by the center aisle and return by the side aisles. Please extend your hand with an open palm to receive the consecrated host. If you're not receiving, please do come forward for a blessing. Just cross your arms over your chest and I will be very pleased to give you a blessing. Please be seated and follow the instructions of the ushers.
Let us pray. Please stand. Lord God, whose Son left us in the sacrament of his body, food for the journey, mercifully grant that strengthened by it our brother Sandro may come to the eternal table of Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. And now I invite Shirin Neshat, Mel Bochner, and Vincenzo Amato to come forward for a few words of remembrance. Sandro, I know you're here, your ashes, but your spirit somewhere up there, watching us, hearing us. And I know you have a big smile on your face as you see so many of your friends and family come together to share our emotions, to remember what you meant to us and what you, your loss feels like today. No, Sandro, this is not a goodbye. This is not an end. Only the beginning of building your legacy to celebrate your beautiful life. Sandro, your humility, intelligence, generosity, compassion, humanity, humor, and most importantly, your passion for art and artists turned you into the center of our communities at home in Italy and right here in New York City. Year after year, you seek and welcomed people from every corner of the world to your life. Young and old, rich and poor, famed and unknown, only to shower them with your love and support unbounded by any form of limitation, you made every one of us feel special and important. Sandro, not only your love became contagious, but your love of life became contagious. You showed us how to be resilient and graceful, even in the dark times, in emotional and physical pain, when tragedy hits, when our bodies began to ail. Sandro, your strength made us feel strong. Your sarcasm was a blessing, a warning not to ever take life too seriously. How we yearned to hear your jokes again. You made us laugh, even as you laid in your final days in the hospital. Sandro, submission was never an option for you. And that's why despair, grief, and mourning doesn't look like an option for us, the community you left behind. Sandro, we have lost the soul of our community, our source of inspiration and lightness as we remain on this planet in this uninspiring days of chaos, uncertainty, political games, lies, injustice, war, poverty, and environmental and health catastrophes. Sandro, like many other people, I will miss receiving your beautiful little paintings in the mail. Those timid, minimal, poetic messages were your precious gesture of love, which every time brought a smile in my face, but also tears to my eyes. Sandro, I will miss your style, those colorful socks and scarves and linen shirts. You were the coolest, the most elegant man I've ever known. You rocked. My friend, you will go down in our history as a man who was truly one of a kind, 
an individual, a true original. If there is a God, I'm grateful that he brought you into the world, but angry that he took you away from us too soon. Rest in peace, my dear Sandro. We love you. You will never, ever be forgotten. Your spirit is here to stay. Who was Sandro Manzo? Sandro was born 81 years ago in a small coastal town south of Naples, just below Pompeii. After the devastation of that coast during World War II, his father planted hundreds of palm trees and opened a successful seaside resort where Sandro worked as a kid. At age 11, he left home to study in Switzerland. At age 25, he moved to Rome and opened Galleria Il Gabbiano. The space was not large, but the program was. It was an intellectual hub a meeting place where the visual, literary, and film worlds intersected. Among the gallery habitués and personal friends were Alberto Moravia, Luciano Visconti, Elio Petri, and Bernardo Bertolucci. It was at an opening at the gallery that I met Giorgio Bassano, author of the great novel, The Garden of the Finzi Contini, who, as we discussed the shortcomings of the film version of his novel, held my four-year-old daughter, Francesca, on his lap. It was that kind of place. Among the distinguished artists he showed were Rauschenberg, Ruscher, Gattuso, Mario Schifano, Larry Rivers, Sam Francis, Robert Motherwell. Sandro was also very close to Balthus, who for many years was the director of the French Academy in Rome. On the walls of Sandro's apartment were a great many of Balthus's delicate figure drawings, as well as a group of very intense Giacometti portrait drawings. I first met Sandro at a dinner party in Rome around 1992. We hit it off immediately. The combination of his intelligence, charm, and sparkling wit, which coupled with his Neapolitan skepticism, was hard to resist. It was a time of great political upheaval in Italy, and it must be noted, Sandro was a man of the left. The next time we met was in New York at a Christmas party at Sarah McPhee's sister's apartment. During a game of charades, his energy and joy soared higher and higher, and I was caught up in his exuberance. We were bouncing off each other in a spiral of hilarity. Our friendship was born. 
My first exhibition at Il Gabbiano was in 2003. All in all, I had four. Sandro and Fiamma became our closest friends with whom we could share all of life's ups and downs, ins and outs. They traveled all over to see my exhibitions. London, Paris, Munich, Brittany, Los Angeles, most recently, Chicago. He was my very most fervent supporter. Above all else, I will remember Sandro for his unfailing kindness. He could be critical, and no oh boy, he could be critical, but never mean or unkind. He exemplified the highest tenets of Buddhism. Quote, eat when you are hungry, sleep when you are tired. And one more that I would like to add. Have a good laugh whenever you can. The brevity of Fiamma's email last week was a Zen masterpiece. Quote, Sandro has left us, unquote. But dear Fiamma, he has left us in body only. His spirit will never leave us. It's very strange to be here and to talk about Sandro uh, in a church because uh, for me it's very, uh, um, since I received the, the text from Fiamma, it's not that I don't believe that Sandro died, etc. For me it's a contradiction. Uh, it's an oxymoron, no? Sandro dead. Sandro is a life force. So until the second that I step here to talk in a church about Sandro, I really don't, don't really believe this, and I will never believe this, because Sandro always lives uh, with me. And I have to say, until now, I haven't felt sad, because I have Sandro really near all the time. And actually, I want to talk to Sandro now, and I want to say publicly, Sandro, thank you. Grazie, Sandro, for everything. And we all want to say thank you to you. And I, it's thank, thanks to you that I have been an artist in this city for 30 years. And uh, I owe you a lot, and uh, you've been fantastic. And today I was thinking what uh, my mother told me once, that when people die, it's not the end of a relationship, but it's a change of a relationship. The relationship changes a little bit. And it's true with Sandro, really. Um, also, he, he's, always, he's always next to me. And I wanted to say many things, and I didn't want to write anything down, because I really feel Sandro close to me. I think that there is, in this world, that people are strange. There is people who are very humble, their energy is quiet, thank God. There is people who are violent and their energy destroys stuff and other people. And then there is Sandro, who's a force. He's a force of joy and generosity and fun. And uh, so this force uh, will never end. Nobody's eternal, but Sandro is. And now I hear him saying, ha, 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 bravo. <laughs> <laughs> Grazie, Sandro. Thank you. Yes. Please stand for the final commendation.
before we go our separate ways, let us take leave of our brother. May our farewell express our affection for him. May it ease our sadness and strengthen our hope. One day we shall joyfully greet him again when the love of Christ, which conquers all things, destroys even death itself. Into your hands, Father of mercies, we commend our brother Sandro in the sure and certain hope that together with all who have died in Christ, he will rise with him on the last day. We give you thanks for the blessings which you bestowed upon Sandro in this life. They are signs to us of your goodness and of our fellowship with the saints in Christ. Merciful Lord, turn toward us and listen to our prayers. Open the gates of paradise to your servant and help us who remain to comfort one another with assurances of faith until we all meet in Christ and are with you and with our brother forever. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In peace, let us take our brother to his place of rest. The family will greet us at the, at the entrance to the church. Let us leave uh, listening to the music of the recessional. Our recessional hymn is number 627, O God Beyond All Praising, number 627. We worship you too. 